the Chinook girls basketball team has transitioned from Class C to Class B, and so far they've had no problems. The second-ranked Sugar Beaters are a perfect 8-0 and have an average win margin of 38 points. The competition, like everybody just comes to play every single night. Everybody is going to give you your best game. And coming from Class C to Class B, everybody, of course, is going to give you your best game because they just want to show you what Class B is really about. The move from Class C to Class B could be daunting for most teams, but for Chinook, their chemistry and work ethic has them averaging over 63 points per game and only giving up an average of 25. Well, I'm so proud of our team. Yeah, we push each other so hard through practice. It doesn't matter if you're a freshman or a senior. Like Everyone is pushing each other. We work really hard. We just play really well together. We share the ball really well with each other, and we're always looking to do what's best for each other instead of playing, it's not about me, it's about us. Most of the Sugar Beater squad grew up together inside this very gym with dreams of being able to hang a banner of their own. We've been hungry since we were second graders. I remember walking in here as a kid and looking up on those banners and seeing everything and remember thinking, this is what I want, this is what we work for. And I walk into practice every day and I tell these girls, hey, this is what we're working for, this is what we're pushing for. When we're conditioning and exhausted, we're just sitting there pushing for these moments. And we all come in with the mentality of no one's going to roll over and give it to us. We're going to have to work and push for every second and every point we get. And we're so hungry to get that banner and we're so hungry to get every single win we can. I think we're very hungry. We're looking to get to go to state again and we're looking to get a state title. And I think overall we're just trying to We'll butt on some teams to make it all the way. The program's only state title wins came from the 80s when they went back to back. And this team wants nothing more than to restore the greatness for their community. I think it would mean so much to, to the community. We've been persistently good, but we haven't gotten that point yet. And I think it'd be mean a lot to the people who have been here since that last state championship banner to finally see another one coming into the program. It would just mean a lot to us to win it because we've been talking about it since second and third grade. Just putting up another banner on that wall just would mean a lot to us. But they also understand winning the title is not just for them or for the loyal fans they've had over the years, but also for the future generations that will sport the black and orange. Looking up as a little kid, like looking up at the banners being like, that team did that. Like, that's what I want to do. Like, trying to push yourself to get that banner to get that state title to set up an influence on the on the younger kids because every little kid just like likes to look up and see their idol and so we're trying to push ourselves to become the kids idols and we're trying really hard to just be there for them from chinook i'm dante williams mtn sports